Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. This little guy is Popeye. He's got one of his favorite toys of the week out right now. And we are the RC Sailors. We are here to show you a fun RC vehicle that also has some functionality. This isn't just for entertainment, mm -hmm. but it can provide some home security and I mean, it is a lot of fun too. A couple months ago, we gave you guys a little sneak peek of this and sorry it took us so long to get this video out, but here it is. <laughs> right, yeah. I mean, we wanted to use it some. And we wanted to test it away from our home. Yeah, and so we don't- we'll talk about that a little bit more. We don't have a lot of opportunities of Wi-Fi access, good Wi-Fi access away from our house. <laughs> so that's another reason it took a while. Yep. Now, what this is, is a remote control little tank. It has four wheels, but it has a rubber track around those wheels, so it drives on a lot of surfaces really well. Uh, it has a very cool little camera on the front. That can go up and down. Right, um, we'll show you some of these features mm -hmm. here in a bit. It also has, as you can see, this large antenna on here. That actually functions as a very good antenna to connect to your home Wi-Fi. Um, it's not like old school technology. This is actually pretty cutting edge technology, especially for the price. Has some really cool lights up top, just to let you know uh, that it's got power. It, those lights tell you if it's charging and stuff. And then on top, you have this little switch and it pulls back and it's spring loaded. And then you can put little fun things in here. You can put candy in here, little notes to pass back and forth. Mm -hmm. You can put a can of pop or something in here and deliver it around the house from one room to the next. Like if uh, if you're a little kid and you got this for Christmas, you know, you could put... Army... And you're grounded. Yeah. You can put an I'm sorry <laughs> note and send it out to mom. Right. And drive through the house using your phone or your tablet or whatever. You don't have to have internet data to use this. Mm -hmm. Just some mobile device that can connect to home Wi-Fi will also work on this. It has a free app. And then you see this big thing sitting here on the table beside me. That's its charging bay. It just plugs into a normal wall outlet. It doesn't need a converter or anything. It actually has a pretty long cord, which is really nice. So like you can plug it in behind your bed or something. This could even charge like under your bed, mm -hmm. which is really neat. And then these two little metal prongs here that are spring loaded, that is where the tank makes a connection with these two little metal contacts and it can drive up onto this and then sits right in place and it charges. The really amazing thing is you can be away from your house driving this. Yeah. So you can set up a network. Yeah. Uh, connect this to your home's Wi-Fi so it bings a signal to wherever you are. It's really neat. It's amazing. And while you're away, you can drive it onto the charger and let it charge mm -hmm. while you're on vacation or whatever. I mean, it's really cool concept. Yeah, really it's cool. really easy to connect to it just to drive it around at home, but it's a little more complicated to get the network set up. So mm -hmm. make sure you always keep those instructions Very so important. you can set, up, set it up to the network. So in our little demo video that we did of this, we drove it around the house playing with Popeye and stuff. Mm -hmm. It has a voice function. You can talk yep. through the phone mm -hmm. and it comes out of the speaker on here. So we were at my parents' house visiting and we wanted to play around with Popeye. So what we did was we drove this around looking for Popeye and we, when we saw him, we said, hey, Popeye, hey, come here. And he could see us. Hey, buddy, you want a treat? We need to put a picture of you on the tank. You should have a little trap door that opens. It does. <laughs> it has one. Popeye, come on. Where are you? Come here. <laughs> I want to cruise around some. I want to go check out. We left a light on on purpose. <laughs> That's so cool. It's working. Mm -hmm. It's really, really laggy, but it's working. and he was reacting to it, he could hear us. Hello. 
Luke. Say it louder so it comes out. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? <laughs> and then there's also. It has a mic as well. So, how do you go? Here, let Sorry. me take that closer. Here, here we'll do that. Try that. Here, I can hear. Say something. Well, you might want to turn, up, want to turn up, my up my phone. phone. Okay. Make it go, go louder. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Where is the mic? Where is the mic? Is it in the front? In the front. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has two-way communication, which is so cool because I could be at work if I have a good connection at work, for example, I'm on my lunch break or something, I can start driving this around and find Abby and have a conversation with her. It's kind of like a mobile FaceTime. Mm -hmm. You know, I could hide a little bit of a candy or something in there, then go to work and then start driving this around. There, she's raising the camera up. I could go find Abby and then, you know, a little, little treat for her there, yeah. some chocolate in the tank a little later. <laughs> And uh, the cool thing is it has the two-way communication, but it can only hear you if you hit the microphone. So it's not like yeah, it's, not it's always constantly on. No. feeding back and forth. Yeah. So if you really want to be sneaky, not that you could be like extremely <sighs> sneaky with that running around, but yeah. still, it's pretty cool. It has the camera, like a photo option and a video option. So that's really nice. And you can change the data rate. So the video that you're seeing, we actually had to bump oh, I down. I haven't hit record. Do you want no, 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 no. We oh. have other, we have okay. other video form. The video that you've been watching has been bumped way down because at my parents' house, their internet connection was not as good as ours. So we had to bump the data rate down, which makes it, uh, a fuzzier image quality right. so that you can transmit that video signal faster. And it would, it would be the 800 kilobits. Right? It was the best. Okay, yeah. so that's why I just put it on. So we'll give them some video here. Okay, and it actually looks pretty good when it's in the higher quality. I think it's filming. There's a red it looks like it, yeah. So what you have to realize when you're driving this is that there is a delay. She's gonna push my Mickey shirt. When she pushes something, there's maybe a one to two second delay. And that's because this isn't just traveling from the tank to the phone. This is going to the home Wi-Fi. Uh, no, right now it's not. Right now it's going from the tank to the phone. Okay. But when you set up the network and you're in a whole nother location, it's going from the tank to your home Wi-Fi, yeah. to a satellite, then to whatever mobile device with whose ever internet you're using. It's doing a lot of traveling. It's a lot. It's crazy. So it's gonna work better when you're right beside it, but it does work when you set up the network. Now, you would think, at least I would think, that this kind of technology on something, oh, you know what else? It has night vision too. I forgot oh, to even yeah. mention that. Yeah, and we tested that. Yeah, we did. Uh, when we were in at your parents' house, we took it back in the laundry mm -hmm. room. And, and it stuff. worked pretty well. Yeah. Uh, you and the cool you know if you go away from your home a lot of times you're going to leave a lot of your lights off you might leave one or two lights on but you you'll leave most of them off so you can travel around the house and make sure things are okay while you're away from your house with the night vision we're giving them a little sneak peek of our behind the scenes setup <laughs> where at the camera and the lights oh okay okay <laughs> Very it's, cool. pretty, it's pretty neat technology. It really is. When we saw this, I originally thought it was going to be about a couple hundred bucks or so because there's nothing that's really like this on the market. I've, I've never seen anything like this. I've not looked very intensively, but I've not seen very many things like this. So because it's so unique, it actually works and serves a purpose and is fun, I was expecting at least a couple hundred bucks. You'll be surprised to know that this is well under a hundred dollars. It's a pretty amazing price tag for the amount of technology here and the functionality. If you don't even like RC stuff, this can still serve a huge purpose because as I said, you're away from your home, you wanna check up on things, this can even drive around outside. As long as your router has a strong enough signal to connect to it. It does need to be connected to your router. And it doesn't, it does not have an SD card. It will save the footage to directly your to your phone. One thing I should mention is that my parents don't just live down the road or anything. They live about two hours away. So, you know, it was a very far distance from our house for this to be functioning. Abby's using the FPV right now to drive it up to yeah, the charger. You want to have that set, a, set against the wall. We've had it up against the wall, yeah. but on the carpet it would hold in place too. That's what's cool because uh, a lot of you might be wondering about the charge time. 
but once you charge it as long as you keep putting it back on the bay it mm -hmm. should always be charged for you is my life looking right at it oh, oh there i think it got it yeah that's on perfect good job um and i believe it was it, doesn't it say it has like some crazy crazy long drive long, time like yeah. two hours um it also long enough to where we haven't hit the it battery shows there's telemetry on the screen yeah. to tell you how much juice it has left so if you see that the battery's down to the last bar just drive to the the docking bay but we've never had it like drop down even one bar only downside is if you have stairs <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you, you cannot go up and down the yeah. stairs. Well, it could go down the stairs. It could go down the <laughs> stairs, not well, but it could go down and maybe die. Honestly, I'm Good a crying. huge fan of this, and I really love the idea of it. Uh, the only problem, Abby and I were talking about this before the video a little bit, because we've had this for so long now, is she didn't like having to, uh, if the power goes out or something, or like you lose your internet connection, you have to reconnect it to your internet. The network, the, to make right. it so you can use it. Else far away far from away. home. Yeah, it's super easy to connect right to. That's why I said just it. keep your instruction manual handy because yeah. uh, it makes if you have a step by step, it's really easy to do. But like to remember it, like I can't remember it right now. Yeah. I would have to go get the instructions and set it back up. Yeah, so. there's like uh, eight steps or something to getting it. To probably getting not it even working. that many. It's just a little bit of a pain. <laughs> so that's probably the only downside. The instructions did a great job at getting us connected, but it was pretty mandatory to have those instructions. But just for right here, you connect it just like your drone. This emits the Wi-Fi signal. There's a little reset button that you can hit if it's not working. It'll reset the wi the Wi-Fi signal it's emitting, and then you go to the Wi-Fi on your phone. But when you're really mm -hmm. far away, you can't connect to the Wi-Fi, so you have to set it up with your internet. Home internet. Yeah. And that's it's what takes a few neat. steps. It's, it's really neat technology. It's amazing. Uh, as always, with all the stuff that you see on our channel, we'll have it linked down in the yeah. description and box And if you're below. on your phone, you just click that little triangle, little, little tiny right thing title. right under the video. It's right, right, right by there. our title. <laughs> and all of our stuff is there. And if you missed that, then we'll probably have a pinned comment in the comment section where you can see this and check it out for yourself. I mean, it, it really honestly works. It does a very good job. There's a slight delay in it. That's to be expected. I mean, it's a, it's amazing. It's amazing. If this is your first time on our channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button, click the bell, double sub, so you can keep having some RC fun with us. This one is a really unique, really original idea. Very cool. We had a lot of fun testing it out, and it's been uh, set up in our home for like the last three months. So we sitting, it sits right by our we've had a good the time uh, the it. smart sleeper that we have. <laughs> They're both just parked right by each other. It's it's cool. I like it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.